I look up at the sky and then I look at the soil. The break seems so sudden and complete. One would think that the soils and the atmosphere don't have much to do with one another. Folks in the Dust Bowl days were very aware that soil, if not treated right, will interact with the atmosphere in ways that definitely aren't good. We think that's all in the past, but it still happens today, right here in the USA. In reality, soil and the atmosphere are the closest of trading partners, always busy in a constant exchange and renewing of gases like water vapor, oxygen, nitrogen, and of course, carbon dioxide. Weathering, nitrogen fixation, nitrification, denitrification, sequestration, photosynthesis, respiration, there are all processes that involve some sort of exchange between atmosphere and soil. Now, carbon dioxide's been in the news for a while. My first thought of carbon dioxide is to think of it only in the atmosphere. So I was shocked to find out that there was more carbon in soils than there is in land, plants, and the atmosphere combined. I'll leave you with this thought from Dr. Henry Jansen. Soil organic matter is far more than a potential tank for impounding excess carbon dioxide. It is a relentless flow of carbon atoms through a myriad of streams, some fast, some slow, winding their way through the ecosystem, driving biotic processes along the way. Makes you think, doesn't it? <laughs>